Hello, welcome back to control. Let's talk to Pope. No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. It's Dylan, not oh, Daniel. But am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother? Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. Hey? If they're in there, we go out that way. She said it's in the upper level. Maybe it's over here. Huh? Maybe. Things over here. Oh, we're just gonna run around. But that this seems. Oh. Wait, where is he supposed to be? Um. Friends, nope. The face of the enemy. It's this empty. On the upper floor. Wait, there's another. No, it's a radio. Where is he? Marshall abandons us. I'm sick of no one telling us what's going on. Information okay, I think. What do you know I... about this Arish guy? I heard some rangers saying he saved them in maintenance. They were attacked by a new kind of hiss, and Arish Wait. got them out. Nope. All right, but still, yes. a security guard leading rangers? I don't know if I like taking orders from a mall cop. The shame that we can't really talk to them. No, it's just on the radio. Uh, okay, it seems you're not gonna talk. Through time, the thunder soon distorts you. Happiness comes, white pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, inverted is made right. Leave your insides by the door, push the thing through the surface into the wet. You've always been a mere huge walkest patrol. We stand around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. Through time, the thunder soon distorts you. Mm -hmm. Happiness comes, you are a worm through time. Shit. The thunder song distorts you. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Can you to stop be that? Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in! You've always been here! The only true A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop it! Orange peel! Shit! Shit! He can see you! This is not safe! 
We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small, in ordinary. In the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for applause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it, and they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. An earworm is a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the Prime Candidate program in the containment sector. I have the keycard to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are warm through time. That you are warm through time. The thunder is okay, so now we have to clean us up. What? You can still talk to him? I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. I don't know either. Dylan. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Go ahead. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in Ordinary, before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child, a girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Sure. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? You are a warm through time. The thunder Oh, well, maybe you really were warm first. Okay, let's talk some more. Maybe Aren't Dylan's they? still in there. Maybe there's a way to reach him. I'd like to talk to my brother, please. Dylan? Dylan would like to tell you about a dream he had just now. This again? I was going to be the new director of this place. I helped you get a job here, so that we could be together. 
you were an office assistant. You'd make coffee and deliver the mail, and there was always plenty of work to do. And it stayed that way, forever and ever. It was nice, really nice. That's debatable. But here's the strange thing. The dream shifted, and none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game, and it was a fucking boring game. But you couldn't stop playing. It's not boring, come on. And then it shifted again. Or, or maybe it was another dream already. Or, or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary girl from an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office. Something, 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 something. And that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. You are a worm through time. The okay, once again, there's something new. Maybe I can learn more about the hiss from him. Can we talk? I just had an interesting dream. Oh, shit. That's fascinating, but let's talk about the hiss for a change, yeah? This dream was about the hiss. Uh, best I'm gonna get. In my dream, the hiss had broken free of this prison, this house. I'd set it free. And the president himself was there to welcome us. He was the first one to take the hiss in. Spread the word. At first, many people thought it was horrifying. That he was horrifying. But also, many people who heard his words wanted to welcome the hiss in. And slowly, more and more of them came around until the whole world was brought together by the hiss. It was wonderful. Okay, thanks for sharing that. For the record, that will never happen. Not as long as I'm alive. Are we done? We're not done yet! Okay, we'll just keep going until he's done. Maybe I'm just here to punish myself. Maybe. Any new dreams you'd like to share, Dylan? I'm glad you asked, sister. This dream, like all dreams now, felt very real. Like reality. And reality now feels like a dream. Maybe it's all a dream. Maybe it's all real. Dream where my brother endlessly tells me about his dreams. I was in a dark place. And there was a dark man there. His name was Mr. Door. And he told me that there are many worlds. Side by side, on top of each other some inside of others. In one world, there was a writer who wrote a story about a cop. In another world, the cop was real. Dor said he himself was in all of them at the same time, endlessly shifting between them. I asked him how I could reach these worlds. I wanted to bring the hiss there. But he didn't want to help me. He didn't like the idea. What did he know? I'm not wild about the idea myself. Through time, the thunder we are not done yet. Happy. Here we go again. Once more with feeling. Let me guess. 
You want to tell me about your dream? Yes. Yes. In fact, I'm having a dream right now. Oh. That's new. In this dream, I'm standing in the corner watching Jesse and Dylan talk about this very dream. That's crazy. This very dream! He said just now! And repeated it again now! I'm standing there and watching and that's all I can do. It's as if I'm trapped there. And that's all I have to say about that dream. Okay, okay, Dylan. That's good. Is he still in there? Is there or is this the hiss playing mind games? <sighs> I don't know. This um, this is... Yeah. Okay. Well... Okay, where are with that? And let's see this traffic light. Because I think... I know where to... I think we've seen it. Oh, jukebox opens. Single, set of three. Okay. We can upgrade. We don't have the corrupted sample. Oh, we can upgrade charge. Give me that. Board countermeasures. We've done that. Okay. Continue. <laughs> Mm, kill mold host in research. Mm. Using grip to enemies with headshots. We can try that. So fast travel into the upper panopticon. Mm, because I think is there. Okay, because as you may remember, with. Oh, it appeared. Okay. We've seen some red stuff in one of the places. Okay. To be precise, we've seen some red over there. That must be one of the missing altered items. Thank you. Yep, let's move. Wait, how did I get back here? Of course. Because we are not in the light, we move freely. That's reassuring. If for some reason I thought that big red light, I'd say. Let's see where it works. Uh, I don't know what, why, but I just decided to ignore. And I don't know how it will react with this. to ignore it, I was sure it's not the thing we're looking for. Actually, I think that... Uh, Charging tra tra it dodges, extend, outside time. No! Okay. I 
Let me see. Let's see. Let's lantern. Let's travel to the panoptical lower level. Let's talk with this guy. Hey, listen to this. Containment failed. I found all those missing I'm glad I interrupted him. All of them? Wow, you have a gift, ma'am. But those weren't all of the altered items missing from the Panopticon. The hiss must be making them restless. We've had several more containment breaches. What? How many of these things did he lose? How many? Just a couple. Should be no problem for you. I really appreciate your help. Really, just super. Three. Flamingo mannequin? No, not the mannequin. Rubber ducky is okay, but not the mannequin. Soon. I'll be here, like always. Okay, where are those? Oh. Threshold and the prime candidate, so we go up there once again. Yeah, I'll store some more points. Uh, Upper panoptical, so threshold, yeah, upper. He was in the fifth level, if I remember correctly. Nope, wrong way. As usual. Hmm, and so, oh, silk threshold, oh, I don't like that place. Hmm, such protective studies, that's actually fine. <laughs> Over here. No, 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 I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm gonna die. So, yeah. Just hold space. <laughs> it broke again. It's not over here, it's somewhere else. Oh. <laughs> ha! Touch that. God damn it, of course I went the wrong way. over here not in the panopticon so let's go to the silk threshold corridor apparently and should be somewhere there. Oh, i'm going for the mannequin first aren't i no for the flamingo okay i'm glad Somewhere around this place, I guess. The threshold checkpoint. Oh, the reality. Way. Really? <laughs> or
there some more. Oh, I think he's somewhere over there. Yeah. That's got to be an altered item. <sighs> what the fuck? Oh no no. Is it fighting the blue? Like flamingos, there. too pink. Yeah, I just say. Actually, little flamingos are white. They get pink because of the red color. Uh, they eat lots of red, and their feathers absorb the red. Thus the color red in flamingos. I hope that makes sense. That's just how it is. Okay, just this way. Oh. No, I think we should use the elevator to get there. So let's go back to the executive central. Executive, to be exact. And we'll use the elevator to get back to the security, which uh, gets us on the exact level we need to be in order to get to the whatever we need, wherever we need to go. Okay, try to the elevator. And I think, yeah, <laughs> it's for the. Wait, wait, wait. I think yes, containment sector. I just have so sometimes I have such problems to things. Wait, to connect some dots. I don't know. Okay, now that we are here, you can see that we are where. What the hell? Where are we on the? Okay, we are not where I wanted to be at all. I don't know why. There's another elevator then. Then the worst. Why is it so yellow? Oh, just get through. We're in the logistics already. And on the right hand side there should be staircase. Right there. And this is staircase. Okay. We still need to get higher and to the right. We now we have level six clearance. This is the, this is the transit corridor we need to use. And we are kind of the level that we be. <coughs> Not quite there yet, but I know. Because if this space is open anywhere, oh, uh, it's not. Bummer. No? Yeah. Oh, fuck. 
Okay, that was a waste of time. So we're going to the logistics. And from there, through the security that I think, we will find a place. There, through the security. Straight ahead. Not the staircase, but stairs. And let's uh, move over here. Looks like there's some. I scared myself. Again. Yeah. And this is where we want to be. Don't scare me like that. She was blank. She was admitted to a mental ward for emotional instability soon after relocating to Ionis with her family in 1914. The item only appears on record again in two, 2006 when the Bureau investigates, uh, investigated a sudden rise in disappearances in blank. Ionis. Agents found the item hanging in the local library. They contained it quickly, though the missing people of the town were never recovered. We certify that the case of Miss Blank has shown her to be a lunatic under her reasons of hysteria, bad company, and imaginary female trouble. Her fixation with the family looking glass is noteworthy, though not an uncommon matter when considering a fem the female disposition. Miss Carver is a fit subject for the lunatic asylum and will remain in its confines until her affliction has passed. It's funny how here she's crossed out and we can see her name over here. I have been done on purpose. To find new prime candidates. The Bureau needs a director. Our future. P6 and P7. Okay, let's watch that. Unless we can find the dates. After North Moor stepped down, I doubled every effort to find new prime candidates. There was no one. No one but me. That wasn't good enough. I pushed hard. I never wanted the Bureau to end up in that situation again. The Bureau needs a director. Always. When my time reaches an end, I want more options on the table. P1 through P5 were all false leads dead ends and disappointments. Then, P6. Dylan Faden. He fell into our arms. No parents. They're gone. Casualties of an AWE. The boy has exceptional talent. The oldest house will be his home. We'll build him from the ground up. He'll be trained and taken care of. Darling can be in charge of this project. I can't. I'll stay away. I will not fail the boy like I failed my own family, my daughter and my wife. We weren't careful enough back then. Something came home with me. I took work home. My Susanna got sick. When I realized my mistake, I wanted to bring her here for Darling to do what he could. Kate flat out refused. Civilian doctors treated our daughter, but they didn't have a clue. She died. Kate left me. Same old story. That was a long time ago. The Bureau is all I have now. And the prime candidates are our future. There are two. P6 and P7. We're spoiled for choice. Okay, and then I think he knew about Jesse. 
And, uh, yeah. Sing Mama? Oh, it's that. Okay, I was wondering what the. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for today. <laughs> the end chair. So, for now, thank you very much for your life and see you soon. Bye!